Hi guys, welcome back. So we are joined here at SEMA with Aaron. Aaron, thank you for joining us on this super cold <laughs> Las Vegas morning. Um, yeah. Obviously you've got the Mark 7. It's a build that um, I've been following on social media quite a bit. Um, obviously you're here with wave track differentials. You've got a really nice spot outside SEMA. Everyone's gonna see the car and just wanted um, to run through with our viewers because we're a big Mark 7 Golf R channel. Um, some of the bits and pieces you've got on this car. So yeah. um, I believe one of the most interesting things probably about this car is you actually race it in a race series as well. Yeah, so I campaigned with Sports Car Club of America in a class called Touring 3. Mm -hmm. The class is really quite limited in what you can do. It's, it's a production-based class, and it's got BOP specs that you have to you know, find the little loopholes that you can get to find that edge. And so it's not necessarily about what you can do, but the creativity of the sum of what you do to make a cohesive package. Mm -hmm. And what are some of those things that you've done on the, the car to achieve that? Absolutely, so uh, suspension and chassis is almost open. Uh, we can run any damper uh, and coilover combination provided that we maximize no more than three and a half degrees of negative camber. Mm -hmm. uh, we run a specific size brake if allowed uh, and then spherical or uh, polyurethane Delrin bushings if allowed on yep. your spec line. Um, we've got uh, four-way suspension coilovers uh, built by JRI uh, from a, a company called 529 Innovations. Uh, Pete at 529 specializes in MQB platform, RS3, TTRS, and so this is his first kit with remote dampers and a four-way adjustment. Um, we're allowed sway bars, uh, we're allowed all of the adjustable links so that we can properly set and uh, de-stress the chassis mm -hmm. under neutral uh, situations. Um, and then a full suite of safety equipment and you know basic level engine tuning. So this car should be 400 horsepower on the track within the BOP. Awesome. So some of the things you don't usually see in the UK are like the Koenig wheels. So you've gone for some Koenig wheels. Um, this particular style looks really cool. What uh, wheel sizes are you running on this car? So I noticed you're running 245, um, uh, 245 width tires. Yes. So this is an 18 by eight and a half ET42. Uh, it's Koenig's brand new ultralight wheel, ultra gram wheel. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's like 17 and a half pounds per wheel. So a really good choice for me to get that unsprung weight off the vehicle. Um, I'm limited to a 245 tire. Mm -hmm. And so we're running Hoosier um, A7s and R7s, depending on what the track is, in a 245-35-18. And you're competing against what cars? You're competing against, I think you're saying like Mustangs, E46 M3s. Yeah, uh, spec E46. Uh, uh, M3s, 330s, uh, 350 and 370 Zs, mm -hmm. um, S2000s, RS8s, uh, and then the global MX-5 Cup cars, the yep. Mazdas, are also specced in this class as well. Wow, so this competition is super tough, so you've got really, this particular car from the factory is really not necessarily a car you would want to pick for a track day because the brakes aren't particularly very good. They tend to overheat all the time. <laughs> Suspension is not particularly very good. Obviously, they make a good amount of power. Yeah. And they handle quite well on the road. Yep. So obviously, you've got the four-way dampers on there. So it's all about optimizing like the grip from the tires. What have you done cooling-wise on the car? So CSF uh, developed a really awesome package, a, a three-piece package of cooling for this car. Um, we've got their drop-in intercooler, their auxiliary cooler, and then their oil cooler. And then uh, our friends over at um, IABAD Engineering, uh, ISAM made a cool brand new prototype uh, oil cooler line block-off kit mm -hmm. to segregate the cooling from the oil system. And then that runs to the front oil I cooler. Realize. So you've done away with the oil to water heat exchanger um, or or water heater that the factory system has. All so you're getting gone. all of that heat out of the cooling system on the car. Correct, yeah, anything we can do to decouple those systems. I'm a Mark V guy. I've been running Mark Vs and campaigning those uh, on a road racing, uh, same series, same class actually, mm -hmm. for quite some time. And so I know the, the BPY and FSI 
uh, tricks and then moving over to MQB I've heard nothing but heating issues and cooling issues so uh, we're trying to do everything that we can up front to just not even experience that. Awesome yeah it's something that I've experienced personally and it's, it's super frustrating and obviously you're doing like 30 minute sessions is it? Yep. It's usually minutes. on the standard package after maybe 10 minutes on track that's probably about all you get really before you have to cool the car down or let off the throttle things like that. Yeah, so these are sprint races, 30 minutes. Uh, the longest races might be 45 minutes. Wow. We're looking at, you know, two minute, 29 second laps at the local track that I race at mm -hmm. with uh, trap speeds of 140, 150 miles an hour. Wow, that's incredible. And it's, um, so gearbox wise on this car, what uh, is the gearbox setup that you've got? Because you haven't got a DSG gearbox by the looks of things in there. Yeah, we've got six speed manual and uh, we're running the wave track differential and then the brand new rear differential. That's mm -hmm. why this car is here. It's because uh, the folks at WaveTrack have launched their MQB rear differential set. Mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, spec with that and then a prototype Black Forest Industries single mass clutch uh, to keep all the power onto the ground. So you've really gone as far as you can go with gearbox, axle, with a manual transmission in the car. Yeah, correct. Little bits to, uh, to strengthen the shift forks and whatnot, um, but really nothing special. There's nothing magic outside of that differential inside mm -hmm. the transmission. Perfect. And then interior wise, obviously you've got the full cage in there. The cage setup is particularly nice, um, especially the rear mounting of the roll cage. Yeah. Uh, friends at uh, the shop is called Patience Metal Fab. They're in uh, Minnesota. Uh, they specialize in really high-end fabrication and they've been known for their roll cages. Uh, I brought them this car and said just work your magic but I want uh, FIA bar and I want a low slung uh, anti-impact bar for mm -hmm. me to get over and uh, make it light. This car has to weigh 3,100 pounds with me in it mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the race to be legal. And with the competition, with you know the MX-5 cars weighing into the 2,000 pounds, mm -hmm. uh, we got to do everything to get this fat, <laughs> fat Volkswagen on a diet. So uh, they just absolutely blew me away. Uh, mm -hmm. The TIG welding, the fit and finish, um, is next level. They CAD designed all the cage. So if you look mm -hmm. at where the A pillar mounts go to the floor, it actually is contoured and uh, and CNC plasma cut into the rocker panel. So mm -hmm. when you ask for tight tolerances, they gave us just millimeters of space, which is exactly how you want a roll cage to be designed. Exactly, yeah. And you can really tell, like you're saying, from the fit and finish, all the nice paint on the inside. You're saying that you painted most of the interior so that it looks nice and uniform inside the car as well. Absolutely. Uh, believe it or not, we used an aerosol can. Uh, <laughs> you're having built show cars most of my life. I don't think about choosing an aerosol can to paint stuff, but this product called Steal It, uh, mm -hmm. I was turned on actually by the Hoonigan guys when they built the Rolls Royce. Mm -hmm. uh, they were just using this aerosol can and it's got a high metal content. So if you have to patch or weld into something, you can actually do that with this, this paint. Wow. And, uh, it's like, it's like the next thing I'm going to use it for works, everything It works, it works, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And I'm looking forward to watching the onboards when you got it on track next year. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to watch other videos of ours that YouTube thinks you'll like, then click up here. If you'd like to watch some other videos that we have in the same playlist, then click here. And obviously if you enjoyed the video, then we really appreciate if you gave us a subscription. Um, and then obviously you'll be updated when other videos of ours go live. And you can do that quite easily by clicking here. Hope to see you soon.